This week on C Plus News Time, Tracy Morgan threads the line on cable, one of those workaholics is going to broadcast, and a podcast is becoming a TV show. I can't wait for News Time to be a show that people actually watch. Since we're alone, do you want to make out? Nah, no, yeah, cool. I don't either. What, what's that? Still no? All right. You may be able to deny me, but you can't deny this. C Plus News Time. It's C Plus News Time. Delivering to you the news you didn't know about, the news you didn't care about, and the news you didn't know you cared about. With host Chad White. Now, here's that host, Chad White. I'm so tired of everybody saying that I sound like Donkey from Shrek. I only said it was a nice boulder because it was a nice boulder. Welcome back to C Plus News Time. I'm your host, Chad White, and this is the comedy news they didn't know about for the week of October 17th, 2016. First up, Tracy Morgan is returning to TV, and no, he's not getting anyone pregnant. The comedian is set to star in a new TBS series from Jordan Peele and John Casieri about an ex-felon who moves back to a gentrified Brooklyn. The untitled single camera comedy was shot to FX years ago before Morgan's run-in with with a Walmart truck, but they passed on it. TBS picked up the series for 10 episodes almost immediately. This show is set to join other hit comedies on the network, including The Detour, Angie Tribeca, and Wrecked. New shows premiering within the coming months include Search Party, The Guest Book, and People of Earth. Next up... Anders Holm is going into the detective business. The workaholic star is set to star in a put pilot for Fox from Lee Eisenberg and Gene Stubnitsky, both known for their work on The Office. The show is called Pigeon and follows Simon Pigeon, nice, as a PI who's good at the work but bad at his own life. Like Tracy Morgan's series in the previous story, this show, as a put pilot, will be picked up regardless of the pilot itself. As for Workaholics, it was renewed for a seventh season, but shows have to end at some point. And finally, the Totally Lame podcast is becoming a totally lame TV show. CBS put an order out for the series, which is being bandied as a, quote, hybrid comedy from the podcast host, Elizabeth Lame. Writer Tammy Sager is along for the ride, too. The two co-wrote and will executive produce the series. If you don't know, Totally Lame is, really was, because the podcast is defunct now, a podcast where a young couple develops their relationship via the internet radio format. The show then spun off into Totally Married and Totally Mommy, which are very self-explanatory themselves. This isn't the first time a podcast turned into something more. Recently, there's been an uptick in relatively favorite shows being transformed or redone for television. Comedy Bang Bang on IFC, in fact, is ending its five-season run within a few weeks. The same network used Mark Maron's WTF and changed it into a sitcom of sorts. That show also ended its four-year run this year. Zach Braff helped develop a show for ABC called Startup and then even now they put pilot commitment. That startup is based on Startup, a podcast in the documentary format that followed Alex Bloomberg on his quest to start a podcast network. Before those shows came, This American Life was a highly lauded podcast that turned into a highly lauded TV show for two years. That show racked up two Emmys and several nominations in its short run. Ira Glass's show managed to keep its excellent storytelling across both mediums, but that's because he knew what he was doing and the network didn't. One of the bigger issues when a podcast becomes a show is that the original voice can get lost in all the glitz and glamour of the silver screen. Paolo Mardo, writing on Film School Rejects, cites Henry Jenkins, who describes that phenomena as transmedia storytelling, which occurs when, quote, integral elements of a fiction get dispersed systematically across multiple delivery channels for the purpose of creating a unified and coordinated entertainment experience. Essentially, Jenkins is saying that each piece of media, in this case a podcast and a TV show, should remain themselves as separate entities. To put it into perspective, Perspective, it's like if Game of Thrones cut out all of Arya's scenes and she just popped up in places and they put those scenes in comic books. How the hell did she get to Bravos again? 
Lore is another podcast that's huge in its own world, so now it's expanding out to TV. It's said to stay true to its roots with historical accuracy and excellent production. Serial 2 is set to become a show. With these podcasts becoming TVized, there will be an increased interest in the original property, naturally. One of the big fears, however, is that the podcast will lose its focus and turn into something that it's not. What if Lord changed from bi-weekly to weekly, produced longer episodes, and explored broader, duller myths only to fall in quality? Or what happens if Serial tries to break down into two separate cases led by two sets of people? That one, that last one might sound familiar because that's exactly what the podcast did in its second season. Podcasts are a niche culture. Its definition is floating as pretty much anything can be turned into a podcast. Just look at all of ESPN's shows that live second lives on the easy to produce for format. But it's harder for a podcast to become something it's not. When that does happen, it's never overnight. There's usually a slow, gradual sign that a show is losing its focus. And even then, the moderately sized audience will let the host know what's what. Totally Lame is going to be the first of its kind on CBS, a network known for utilizing only one or two details of a show and then running with it, not letting story or characters evolve into something that they could be. Well, except for How I Met Your Mother and Rules of Engagement. I love those shows. Life in Pieces is pretty good, too. And that's all the news I have for you for this week on C Plus News Time. Why don't you subscribe and check out one of our other videos? Of course, you can always head to the website cpluscomedy.com where we've got the latest news, reviews, features, interviews, and other good comedy bits that only I can provide you with. Follow us on Twitter at C Plus Comedy. Follow me on Twitter at Chat Black White. Like us on Facebook. Talk with us on Tumblr, and be sure to check out my new podcast, Totally Chad, where it's just it's just me and I'm just talking uh, like a Valley Girl from uh, from Belly, Beverly Hills 90210, all over the place. <laughs> all right, bye.